But the key number to look at is, is you're building more and more units and you're getting all the components or your suppliers are bringing their costs down. Um, the payoff for the investors is if we build a lot. Nobody's ever built a lot of the same design. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got to get it right. Uh, you have to design a reactor that can coexist with renewable energy uh, because we have a lot of that. Nuclear and solar energy are two important clean energy sources that can aid in the fight against climate change and the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. They are different in a few important ways though. Solar energy is produced by the sun using its plentiful and renewable resources. Solar panels, which can be put on rooftops or in sizable solar farms are used to harness it. When used, solar energy is clean and emits no emissions. The panels have a 20 to 25 year lifespan and the technology is rather straightforward. Conversely, nuclear fission, which releases heat energy when radioactive material atoms split, is how nuclear energy is created. This heat creates steam, which powers turbines to generate power. Building a nuclear power plant is an expensive and complex process. Nevertheless, once they're going, they can reliably produce power. Uranium is the fuel used in nuclear power plants. It is abundant, but not renewable. Nuclear energy is more efficient than solar energy in terms of efficiency. Solar panels need a large surface area in order to generate a significant amount of power, whereas a small amount of uranium can produce a large amount of energy. Nonetheless, the price of using solar energy to generate electricity has been falling quickly, making it more and more competitive with other methods of energy production. Nuclear power has a contentious safety record because of incidents like Chernobyl and Fukushima. Despite being uncommon, these events draw attention to the possible dangers of nuclear power. In contrast, solar energy is thought to be extremely safe. In terms of efficiency and safety, solar and nuclear energy both have advantages and downsides. We must also consider individual energy independence because solar energy allows people to generate their own electricity and be self-sufficient without being tied to the grid. It is the best option for achieving individual energy independence. This point of view emphasizes the value of individual liberty and the ability to determine one's own electricity pricing. Furthermore, with Bill Gates investing billions of dollars in nuclear energy, there is now rivalry between nuclear and solar energy.